In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the Prospector and Local Businesses tools from Find That Lead. First, let's focus on Prospector. We will start by creating a list from scratch. Here, you'll find the filters you can use to narrow down your target. Let's see an example. We will focus on marketing and advertising CEOs from New York. Right now, Prospector is searching all over the internet for profiles that match this criteria. You will be able to see a preview of some of the leads you will get, as well as an estimated number of total leads that you can expect from this list. Click on Next and you'll see the leads. To get all the email addresses verified, click on Generate Emails and you will be able to choose how this list should be processed. By using your computer, which works faster but you need to leave the browser open, or by using Find That Leads server, which allows you to close your browser but may take a little longer. We suggest always using the Find That Lead server option to avoid problems with your browser. When the process is finished, you'll get an email with your list regardless of how you process it. This is how a list looks like once it's finished in a CSV format. If you want to get even more specific results, check our video How to Get More Leads from Prospector Using Scrabin. Let's take a quick look at local businesses. The main difference between Prospector and local businesses is that the last one is more focused on small and medium enterprises rather than big corporations. An example to use local businesses would be if you are looking for plumbers, bakeries, or any kind of small company in a specific area. Start by filtering your criteria. In this case, we will focus on roofing in New York. Click on Generate List and the process will be the same as in Prospector. When the process is finished, you'll get an email with your list. Let us know if you have any doubts and check our help desk for more support. Thanks for watching.